Welcome back to Breakfast Television Live Shot of Young and Dundas Square. Danielle Me Show of Sportsnet sitting in for Dina Pugliese. Dina is back on Thursday. I got a shocking stat for you. You ready for this? Yeah, hit me. Because I had to read this a couple times. 41% of North American restaurants that have shuttered since February because of the pandemic are black owned businesses. One organization is stepping in to give a well needed boost. We want to welcome Warren Luckett. Uh, he's the man behind Black Restaurant Week, which is currently going on in Toronto. Warren is actually joining us live from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, hello, Warren. How you doing? Doing fantastic. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. No, thanks for being a part of this, and we appreciate uh, what you do week in and week out here. Before we talk about uh, the cause, Black Restaurant Week, the number we just threw out there, 41%. Yeah. Wow, Warren. Yeah, it's, it's a really horrible number. You know, unfortunately, through the pandemic, we've just seen... Uh, a host of businesses across the country and, and even in Toronto uh, closed due to the pandemic. We're so excited to have established a platform that can really drive awareness, drive the marketing and drive revenue for these small businesses in their time of need. What, when did it hit you, Warren, that this was something you had to do, that Black Restaurant Week in, in, in as many cities as possible, in as many countries as possible had to happen? I, uh, I was fortunate enough to have an opportunity to grow up overseas. And so at an early age, I understood the dynamic of the African diaspora and how we all come together as really just one as one culture. And in the States around 2016, there was a lot of cultural atrocities going on. Michael Brown had just passed. Um, Sterling had just passed. And as a young millennial, I wanted to do something to really just elevate the platform for black culinary arts in our country. Growing up, the dinner table was always somewhere where, as a family, we could talk about what was going on in the world, what had happened at school. And so for us, we wanted to use the dinner table again as a platform for everyone to come together to have a conversation. We wanted to make food from our culture extremely accessible. Warren, what, uh, what are some of the barriers that black business owners face? I mean, specifically financially, like, I, they, you know, the banks, a lot of banks are out there. And, and they're like, you know, we, we are a friend to small business. We are a friend to ownership. It's not always equal, though, is it? No, not at all. And I'm, I'm so glad that you bring that up. Oftentimes, with financial institutions, a lot of black businesses don't have the same opportunities for uh, funding. Uh, even during the pandemic, we, we saw domestically here in the United States, a lot of black businesses not able to, uh, to be afforded some of the PPP loans. And I'd say right now, the biggest problem that is facing the industry is labor. And finding just quality labor right now that, that can come in and help substantiate and support these businesses. So, so where does the Toronto hookup happen? Like, how do, do they do businesses around here reach out to you, Warren? Is it the other way around? How does a relationship work? So we have a, an amazing team that reaches out to all the participants. We have over 15 participants participating in our inaugural Toronto campaign. We are so thrilled that Toronto has opened up its doors to be our first international market. We truly believe that Toronto represents the diversity of the world with an amazing influence of Caribbean as well as African participants. And that is, it has really translated in, in the Toronto campaign this year. Um, this is a phenomenal cause. Black Restaurant Week, it runs through Sunday here in the city of Toronto. Um, and, and just one final question before I eat, because we have some food. <laughs> this isn't just for show here, Warren. How can people help out? I know it's, there's an obvious way they can help out, but what can they do? We ask everybody to visit us at blackrestaurantweeks.com. It has a full list of all the participating restaurants. Our website even functions like a directory, so you can filter by your address. You can filter by dietary restrictions. We even have some Canadian delivery app providers on there that you guys can filter to see which restaurant is gonna be the best option for you all. But we don't want you just to try one. We want you to try as many different places as possible so you can know your favorite Black-owned restaurant the same way you would know your favorite Italian or your favorite Asian establishment. All right, Warren, just to, to let everyone know at home, the, the beautiful plates in front of us are courtesy of our uh, of Sky and all the great people at the Flame and Smoke on Dundas Street West here in Toronto. So, Warren, forgive us. It's sometimes rude to eat in front of guests like this. Can we take a bite? And I know da da Danielle didn't wait. Warren, you don't, Warren right you don't think this is rude at all. You know that yeah. this food is oh, dynamite. absolutely not. The name of our campaign this year is No Crumb Left Behind. So I know y'all got to I oh. love that. I love that. Oh! Well, this is our little dinner table here, Warren. It. It's a morning, it's a breakfast table, and, and it's wow. nice to join you this morning. Flame and smoke. Listen, Warren, God bless. We appreciate what you're doing. Again, uh, this initiative in Toronto runs through Sunday. 
Let's uh, let, let's talk again. Don't be a stranger. Let's follow up. Thank you for this, sir. We'll do. We'll do. All y'all have the best. Thanks so much. Thank you. And shout out to the flame and smoke. Shout out. Let me tell this you something. This mac and cheese bite is this, money. This makes you feel good. All right, coming up here on Breakfast Television, we'll, we'll try and finish this. Also, Easy. where were you at 12 years of age? This pint-sized podcaster is making waves in the world of politics. I even somehow managed to find a way on this kid's podcast. The full story next. You're watching B2. Do I have to share Let's with you? Let's dive in, Danielle. Dive in. I, uh, I'm almost dive done. In. Do I have to share with you? No, you don't. Okay, good. And I don't have to share with you. Uh -huh. So good.